Hi, 10 marks very important questions in pathophysiology. By practicing only these questions, you can score maximum marks in your examination. And these questions uh, basically are collected from the PV publication. And even though you practice this, you will score very good marks in your examination. First question is uh, write in detail pathogenesis of stroke. Now what you have to write for this pathogenesis of stroke? If you write directly pathogenesis of stroke means you will get only two marks. See first you write the definition of the stroke, then causes, then symptoms, complications, pathogenesis and treatment. Okay, causes is also known as etiology. Keep it in your mind. If you practice this type of the detailed description means definitely you will get 8 out of 10. Next question, explain the pathogenesis of the conjunctive cardiac failure. See, conjunctive cardiac failure, a very important, a same, you have to write what is the conjunctive cardiac failure, failure causes or symptoms. This you have to write it down. Then you will get good marks. Explain etiology, pathogenesis of the peptic ulcer. Same, here also, first you write peptic ulcer, then you write etiology means causes, then you write the symptoms complications and complications you have to write in 10 marks but in 5 marks no need if they ask complications in 5 marks then you have to write fourth one explain the theology pathogenesis of asthma same asthma and in, in this asthma you have to write the types of the asthma intrinsic asthma extrinsic asthma these are the types you have to write clear and one more point uh, some questions are there i will tell you in the 5 marks in our next part Fifth one, explain etiology, pathogenesis of the Alzheimer disease. It is the brain disorder, central nervous system disorder. Very important question, Alzheimer, Parkinson, then uh, epilepsy. From these three, one is fixed for your examination. Define hypertension, discuss pathogenesis of the essential hypertension. See, hypertension it is also a repeatedly asked question in your examination. So, uh, be cautious, cautious in the hypertension. You write the hypertension, different types of hypertension. Clear. Then write in detail pathogenesis of the Parkinsonism. I have told you. Either they will ask Parkinson or they will ask epilepsy or they will ask Alzheimer. From these three, one is fixed for the 10 marks. But in 5 marks, they will ask schizophrenia. That I will discuss in the 5 marks uh, session. You don't worry. Then what is atherosclerosis? Explain the pathogenesis involved in the atherosclerosis. Very important this also. Atherosclerosis. Just a shortening of the blood vessels. That leads to some of the heart pain, angina pain. These all uh, basic points you have to remember and write it down in our answer sheet. Okay, then define angina pectoris. Uh, briefly discuss types and pathogenesis of the angina. This angina pectoris, cardiac failure, these all resemble, means similar. Okay, then you have to write five pages compulsory. It is the compulsory you have to write five pages. Clear. Then what are the metabolic disorder? Pathogenesis of the diabetes mellitus. Yes, this is also very important. You have to write definition, types, causes, symptoms, complications and pathogenesis. You have to follow this one. And some questions like cell injury is there, irreversible and reversible. That I will discuss in the 5 marks in our next session. You don't worry about that. Till now you practice these 10 questions and keep it ready. Okay, what uh, suggestions I am giving, what guidance I am giving, you just follow that. Yes, thank you. Subscribe our channel, Let's Join Pharmacy. Our one more channel, Medical Shorts. There you will get info information about the drug.